A driver came here yesterday and said, bah, the police told me, I got a boat, try to come and forget fuel. Like, if you go around the fucking fuel, two corners down. Right? I said, well, you got to do what you got, what the police want to do. You got to get him a bribe. So everybody's, a, everybody's sergeant. They don't have no um, constable. They don't, they don't really have no corporal because they promote everybody. Everybody make a phone call, promote this 25, promote this 20, promote this 10. Everybody who knows somebody sleeping with somebody get some kind of link is a friends and family business the Ghana police force is a friends and family business i used to bribe police i even had run-ins a racket going on with police one time traffic police when the stop people is come like the saves you know and tell people man get a man a raise and thing and i just get a little kickback why are they desperate for police officers because police officers are leaving the Guyana police force and they are leaving the Guyana police force because of victimization and because of how they are being treated by these senior traffic chief, good morning sir I want to know is the law applied to some people and not some people? Because the law yes, the yes, 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 yes that is how it works well, that's how it works yeah oh, I didn't know that Delta 9 family welcome back to the flight do remember to hit that thumbs up button on your way in and hit that subscription button so that you can stay updated on all our upcoming departure times. Thank you. A quick video before I hit the trip. So, we we all noticed the flyer going around where the guy in the police force currently looking to recruit junior ranks. They're currently looking to recruit police officers. And I've been saying not I've been encouraging people not to join the Ghana police force. And then everybody come and say, oh, Melly Mel, why would you do that? Why would you encourage the youths that thing are nothing to do to um, to not join the Ghana police force? And, you know, something that, by the way, any anybody to take in, you're going to get CXC, you're going to go to school for all you got, as long as you get your birth certificate and an ID card, or probably just the ID card, you probably need to get your birth certificate because... Well, there's a whole lot of stories. Months now, if you lost your board certificate, there's another board certificate. There's a whole lot of running. Anyway, this is for a whole lot of video. Just walk with your board certificate or ID card and the taking you the Ghana police force. That is how desperate the Ghana police force is. Desperate for police officers right now. And why are they desperate for police officers? Because police officers are leaving the Guyana police force and they are leaving the Guyana police force because of victimization and because of how they are being treated by these senior ranks and because and because of what's happening in the Guyana police force in the whole now I want the Guyana police force come and tell you the truth why are they looking for junior ranks and so so let me tell you what happened so remember they had promotion the other day and they promote everybody on the model that get a linkage that related to somebody in government that gets some big by the sleeping with everybody to promote the sergeant so they get like eight almost 800 or more than 800 sergeants in the Ghana police force right now so everybody's a, everybody's sergeant they don't have no um constable they don't, they don't really have no corporal because they promote everybody everybody make a phone call promote this 25 promote this 20 promote this 10 everybody who knows somebody sleeping with somebody get some kind of link is a friends and family business the Ghana police force is a friend and family business if when you finish listening to all of this you still want to encourage your young girl child or boy child to go and join the Ghana police force then that's fine that's up to you and same goes for the Ghana defense force but I'm going to do another video on the Ghana defense force to enlighten you you guys on what is exactly happening and why they are so eager to recruit y'all by children or y'all your children so they promote everybody they got like about 800 sergeants they don't have any junior ranks right and police are leaving or resigning every single day because of the treatment that they're receiving by these senior ranks everybody doing the own thing in the kind of police force nobody can talk to nobody in the kind of police force because everybody gets a linkage nobody can talk to no he can't just there the tap there as a rubber stamp he ain't get he can't move, he ain't got no power. He just doing a little hustle on the side, a little hustle, a little hustle, and he just walking around as shard bass. He ain't got no power. You understand? Don't be fooled. Hickens can't do. Hello. Many of talk Hickens story. I got left Hickens story for another video. Hickens story is another video. Anyways, Hickens just there, there for their sake. You hear? So, everybody doing the one thing in the kind of police force. Hickens can't talk to certain inspector and them thing in the kind of police force. He can't tell them nothing. 
how to do everybody doing their own thing there is no, there's no order there's no respect there's everybody doing their own thing once you know somebody in government you get somebody that is friends and family that's how it works so that is why they're looking for junior ranks now because they promote everybody to sergeant 800 something sergeant they have no junior ranks who gonna do the work right they get co they get constable that just come in this work two and three years the promoter sergeant the pass all them uh the pass all them corporals that they had sit down there 15 and 20 years without the promotion and they put them little them little girl constable them little by constable were coming after the strength of the family and friends we got to know some big back they pass all them corporals put them to sergeant so what happened now we got sergeant we got young sergeants that just come in the guy in the police force that don't know the work they don't know what to do but they get prescribed as sergeant because friends and family they, they get somebody in the pp government they know somebody here they know somebody there so they can't do the work so you know what you know what I'm, you know what i'm corporal doing them them corporal so we just sit down in the station and we just watch them they just watch me and we just watch them because use me boss why i must help you do your work you get promote you're supposed to know to you're supposed to know to do to do the work but because they have no experience and because of so because of the corruption in the Ghana police force they end up as a sergeant and they don't know to do the work they don't know what to do so they get the, the corporals them sit up making a mess of them and them is the sergeant and i don't give the corporals them wrong you get promoted sergeant you're supposed to know to do the work but because then them come through the rank from a con i think it's a constable and a corporal then a sergeant no but they're skipping them they're jumping them because when it's a sergeant you get a little, you get a little bit more money you get a little bit more leverage you, you know you know so they get so much sergeant in the guy in the police force that every sergeant is on a shift now there's supposed to be one sergeant at the station they get two three four five six seven eight sergeants at one station sergeant doing different shift sergeant even to the to, to the patrols on the bike now you would notice sometimes that there's a sergeant with them because they don't know what to do with them and they don't know where to put them so now they need junior ranks because election coming up and they gotta get these junior ranks to put at polling station they gotta get junior ranks to patrol the who you gonna put who to put in for do though them sergeants no them sergeants is big boys you can't put sergeant to do that you can't put corporal to do that you need constable to do that so they're recruiting these young people now and they're going to train them up and brush them up nice for election and then they're going to send them out to do political work so just like how they had them um trainees and them kind of thing same thing not just police trainees gdf trainees too full in seats and event seats at the national stadium because they want to oh they had thousands of people turn up for this free concert and for this one Guyana thing so this pack all them in a bus 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 a bus upon police then police message me and complain that to stay there that to stay till that to sit down till it finish then even interested that sit down till it finish then when they finish i gotta make sure everything is safe everything is in order like, okay then they gotta go home back to come back some of them living till up east coast out of town all over there they ain't care where you living you know out the tongue here go they gotta go to come back for six o'clock in the morning and i think around that time you guys were in line because was the whole venezuela guyana um controversy was happening so they had to go home come back six o'clock and they had to be doing that for all these concerts and all these events and all these things police trainees are literally seat fillers for this one guyana narrative that they tried to push or they're trying to push and all of that so that's what's happening in the guyana police force plus the starting salary is hundred and ten thousand dollars take home and the treatment is terrible for junior ranks you want to see how them sergeants and corp and them think this the street counts constable how they talk to them how they treat them the things that they got to do bear advantage is take on them junior ranks and them, and not only that they can't talk for the rights because why you can't complain on this sergeant you can't complain on the, on the corporal you can't complain on the inspector because everybody knows somebody everybody doing their own thing everybody get friends and family in the government everybody get a link it some way so you, you, you get young gano justice forget it's dark treatment they're looking for they're looking for junior ranks and, and constable to put them through this was happening in the Guyana police force and that is why they are so this is why they're taking any and everybody where a criminal i'll probably could go and join the Guyana police force any and everybody they're taking because the ranks are leaving the Guyana police force and they're leaving the Guyana police force because of the treatment that they're receiving by because of um treatment they're receiving by these big boys and all these sergeants and inspectors they're being 
um, they've been sitting down 10 and 15 years as a sergeant, they ain't getting no promotion. And these are not people, these are not police officers that get charges and them thing. I'm not speaking that, I'm not speaking about the one that would have done something to warrant them not being promoted and all that. I'm speaking about people who have clean record. They ain't got no charge, they ain't got no nothing. They just do the work, they don't take nonsense. They, you know, those are the people that don't get promoted again a police force. They don't. So why would I encourage you to send you girl, child or boy, try to be a part of a system that is so corrupt, that is so hell-bent on victimizing police officers, junior ranks, that do all these dark three junior ranks, get them doing all kind of thing, cleaning up the minister yard, cleaning up, going, picking up dust hay, mapping, what that police ain't even supposed to do, these junior ranks has got to do, I say is dark treatment. And if after watching this, you still want to go and join the guy in the police force, then go right to him. When you get in, you are going to tell me otherwise. You are right, Auntie Melly Mel. And let Auntie Melly Mel know what's going on with these new sin, with these new ranks. Don't worry. Y'all can sign a paper card to get a big paper mark. Y'all can not speak to no social media activists. Especially Melly Mel. And me naming hyphenate, the, the, the highlighted in bold block letters. Y'all can not talk to me, Melly Mel. Anyways, but many police them they still talk. We know we just talk. Don't worry, then the bluff y'all like can't get an iPhone. Y'all just delete the chat and y'all send me the things. I can talk. One love, Delta 9 family. Welcome back to the flight. If this is your first time flying with us, do remember to hit that subscription button on the way in so that you can stay updated with everything going on in Guyana and the diaspora. They just watch me. We just watch them. The people pay. The people expecting the service, the utility of serve and protect from the force is the ones who's going to pay. When they go in to the station and the different departments expecting service and people watching one another as they underserve the ones who need service and protection. Right now, we know for sure, right? There's more people in the country. Obviously, everybody could see there's more people in the land, right? And it's election time. So naturally, there's get high care security in Guyana around this time anyways. But we can ask ourselves, why? Look, there's countries all over the world. We know that they must have to be Right now, the way how society is running, there got to be some type of process to elect persons that are going to run the country. So we ask ourselves in Guyana, right, why we can't do it in a way that doesn't involve violence, that doesn't involve rigging, that doesn't involve any racism, any time with us tearing down one another. Guyanese. Guyanese hurting other Guyanese, trying to serve and protect Guyanese. Why? How Guyanese could be hurting other Guyanese who are trying to serve and protect? That's what the force, the policing force does. They are trying to serve and protect other Guyanese and they're getting hurt by Guyanese. That don't, that don't even make no sense when you say it. It don't, it don't sound right. How could we allow that? Remember, ultimately, persons are there to serve and protect. So they should be treated fairly, allegedly, when it's time for promotion. They shouldn't be no ducking and dodging if they're there and they're doing what they're supposed to do, allegedly. Come on, honey. How can we allow that? Listen to this. Let me think about this. We know for a certainty. We know for a sure. If you think about it, the bottom line is that we know we need a policing force, right? We need a policing force. The way that society is right now, it needs a policing force to establish stability and safety, right? But the thing is this, a corrupt policing force is worse than no policing force because you have the illusion of having that thing that is essential when really and truly, allegedly, you don't have a fully functional force, but it's a Hearing in that man. How could you now have something so essential in a country as the policing force 
right? The force that is going to keep your most important resource in check, your human resource, your labor force in check, and make sure that that's not in danger from bad actors in society. How could you now make sure, not ensure, that that particular force is not corrupted and an illusion of what it should be? That's an important thing. And I think that Guyanese, we can't allow this to continue all the time in our society, man. Oh, man. How much longer could we allow this? The bottom line is, we need a policing force. But the thing is this, a corrupt policing force is worse than no policing force. Let's get into what Critic has to say right now about the policing force in Guyana and what he knows and what he partook in while he had dealings allegedly with the policing force. The traffic chief, good morning, sir. I want to know, is the law applied to some people and not some people? Because the law yes, 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 yes. yes. That is how it works. Well, that's how it works? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yesterday, a uh, driver called me. You remember I show a video where you're driving in diamond, you're supposed to drive in diamond from the East Bank? Uh, Is that one way there now? Right. So I give notice to all the drivers. I say, don't go wrong there and I don't go there. I just drive down now to like horse selling, turn up back and come back and then go in diamond new road. A driver called me yesterday, said, bars, the police told me, I give a boat, try to come and forget fuel. Like if you go around the fucking fuel, two corners down, right? I said, well, you got to do what you got, what the police want to do. You got to give them a bribe. Is this what I want? No, I don't participate in nothing like that. You understand? But straight up, I know that it exists. Now, again, I am no paragon of virtue. I come from all the corruption and everything. I used to bribe police. I even had run-ins, a racket going on with police one time, traffic police. When the staff people used to come like the save, you know, and tell people, man, get a man a raise and thing, and I used to get a little kickback. So I know about that, right? I know what he but I, I know what he don't play no part and parcel in that. Yesterday, I did yeah. take him a blood test and I me you want a headache for talk. You know, but they asked him, I know if it was the problem. I said, but you better go and get the police in my bribe. That's, that's what they're looking for. That's what, and, and well, not that's what they're looking for. You can't blame a policeman for wanting a bribe after you do something wrong first. You gotta blame a policeman for stopping you when you got all your documents right. Right, if you do things right. So don't let me say they want a bribe. But I'm saying, I tell you, and that's not normal, that's not indicative of my attitude now, right? I. When you're getting big, you're getting big, you're growing up. Smart. So another thing with the police, hmm. like the other night I watching you talking about you coming on these schools. For my age, as you said, Christopher Columbus, I never hear about the fucking flash campaign in his entire life. And I drive in this road party here. I never hear about the flash campaign. No, but here, I think the flash campaign is that come fast, collect the money and gone, and even know it when they. <laughs> They get it from Flash the superhero. I want to know you're going to hear nobody in the Guyana police force would be questioned as to why. For years, I didn't say anything. If you want to have a roadblock, have it right in front of the station. You can't stop in a man and say, Hey, you need to be careful. Yeah, you need to be careful. 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 In front of break down or wrong film. Mm. You can't stop in people in the back of Mandela Avenue the always night to the biggest triple it. One hundred percent wild crafted CMOS from nature by natives. Why pay more? This one is from Azadine Mohammed. Right? This one's from Azadine Mohammed. He sued me and he and yeah, I'm so gotta make a public apology, right? Within um seven days, right? What I can tell you is, as the mommy, right? I don't care how much money you get. Use my God. And if I dare know, you still got to call me. You yeah, understand? God is life short. You're not going to live for the next 100 years. You still have to die. Don't come and trace again. It's memories. Life is memories. All you do is building a little more than me. You're going to live on the earth, build a little more than me. 